Lincoln had been on the island of Sodor for a few weeks now and was really starting to take a liking to it. And he had made a few friends. Hey, Lincoln. How have things been holding up? Oh, pretty well, I'd say. Say, I've been meaning to ask, what's that flag on your side about? Hmm? Oh, that's a long story. Back in the old days, I actually had a fireman. His name was Albert, and he was Danish. He had sailed from Denmark to Wales to find a better place for his mostly Danish family. He decided to take up work as a fireman, and he loved his job. That is, until World War I. One day we were puffing just past the front lines, delivering supplies to the troops. We were clear of any danger because there was a large hilly area separating us from the front lines. However, we suddenly heard a gunshot nearby. And another. And another. And another. And another. The last one, though, I felt in my side. My wheel started spinning furiously as we tried to get away. Albert scrambled to find the spare gun in my cab, but just as he went to aim it, My driver and I made it out of that situation alive, but we never saw Albert again after that. After that, we honored his memory by painting a small Danish flag on my splasher. Wow, that's quite the story. Yep, I, w uh, who's, uh, who is uh, that? Oh, oh th that's Boko. He's one of the friendly diesels around here. Mm, you wouldn't know it. Why is that? Oh, oh, great. Another flashback sequence. Great. Wacky couldn't think of anything Back else. Back on my old line, he was one of the diesels that took over the railway. I remember him being one of the meaner ones, too. He would always take my trains just as I was about to back down onto them. The first night he arrived, he essentially shooed me out of my berth. I had to sleep on the siding that night. He and all his stupid diesel friends are the reason that me and all the bigger engines had to leave. I only had one steamy along with me when all the other diesels came along. Oko was by far the worst one out of all of them, though. Wow, I, I didn't know that side of Oko existed, to be honest. Right, well, I gotta go. I gotta take a train to Wellsworth. Hope I don't run into him on the way. Unfortunately, Lincoln would jinx himself. Oh, hello there. New face around here, I presume? Yes, I am. Lincoln was trying to be distant, but it didn't work. Say, you look familiar. Have I met you before? No, we haven't. What the hell is his problem? Later on, Boko rolled up to Edward, who was resting comfortably at Brendam. Hello, dear Boko. What's got you down? Well, that new engine, Lincoln, I think. He was acting very distant and angry towards me when I tried to introduce myself. Why do you think that could be? Well, he looks incredibly familiar to me, for some reason. I can't put my buffer on why, though. Did you know him on your old railway, perhaps? Hmm. Ah, yes. That's where I know him from. Oh. And now I know why he's so angry at me. Oh? On the mainland, we diesels were brainwashed into thinking that we were better than every other type of engine. Dieselization eventually made it to Lincoln's line, and we quickly started throwing out every steamy in the area, and we weren't very nice about it either. Well, I see why Lincoln is so angry now. Yes, I don't know how to make it up from though. 
You could start with an apology. After all I did, I hardly doubt he'd accept it. Couldn't hurt, could it? So, with that in mind, Boko went to go see Lincoln and Alfred. Hello, Lincoln. I just wanted to say I'm terribly sorry about the past. It is really wrong of me to be so rude towards you and your friends. You know, Boko, that's really, really nice of you to say. <laughs> However, sorry isn't gonna unscrap all the steam engines you sent to their deaths. Lincoln, I... And so, Boko ran back to Edward on the branch line. Well, Edward, you are wrong. Boko filled Edward in on what had happened. Boko, this is no longer a matter of which I can help you with. You'll have to go talk to Sir Topham Hatt about this now. And so, Boko went to go see Sir Topham Hatt at Wellsworth. Excuse me, sir? Yes? What's the matter, dear Boko? Boko filled Sir Topham Hatt in on what had happened between him and Lincoln. Hmm? I'm going to speak with Lincoln about this. There's something he needs to understand. Lincoln, may I speak to you for a second? Go on then. I can promise you this, Lincoln. I only let respectable engines on my railway. Boko is not who he used to be. He has owned up and has changed his ways. He feels nothing but regret for what he did. He has no power over what railway he was sent to. He was only acting the way he was told. Lincoln was stunned. I would recommend you go and sort things out with Boko. He's shunting at Tidmouth currently, and after that, take your next train to the Town. Hey, Boko, I just wanted to say I'm so sorry for blowing up at you earlier. It really wasn't your fault with what happened back on the old line. It's fine, Lincoln, really. And even if it's not technically 100% my fault, I'm still really sorry about it all. That's okay, Boko. Don't worry about it.
Hey, uh, isn't this your train? Hmm? Oh, yes it is. And so, Lincoln headed to the station for his departure. But before he left, he looked around. He looked at the disputes he had settled. And he looked at the new friends that he had made. And he truly felt like he had found a new home. Thank <laughs> you.